Hey, after reassembling my 123, I needed to uh, go ahead and get the car aligned because I had all the suspension off while I was painting the engine compartment. Now, I tried three different alignment shops and none of them would touch my car. They all have fancy uh, computerized alignment systems now in my area and their systems did not go back into the 70s for Mercedes, so they could not get the alignment numbers. I offered to provide them the alignment uh, specifications and uh, they said that they still would not align my car because it wasn't in their system and they wouldn't warranty it. So I didn't want to pay for Mercedes to do it, uh, mostly because it's on the other side of town and it's a couple hours round trip for me and I just don't want to do that. But also, the way things have gone for me, I pull this car apart often enough where I don't want to shell out a lot of money and turn around and have to go get it realigned. I'd like to learn to do this myself. So as a solution, I ordered this, I'm going to butcher the name here, this uh, Tenhuslin Automotive Alignment Kit. It's supposed to do caster, camber, and tow, and it has these thick metal plates. Uh, supposedly we don't need slip plates for the floor. Um, that's good because I don't have any, and they can be quite expensive as well. In addition, I don't have a spreader bar for an accurate Mercedes alignment. You're supposed to have a spreader bar to simulate load on the front end. I do not have that. Also, my car is not factory spec anyways. I have the specs 40 millimeter drop on the back uh, with a K-Mac kit. On the front, I have uh, stock coils that I've cut several inches off of. Uh, it's a lot more than 40 millimeters. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Uh, wheels and tires are different. I'm going to try to get as close as I can to the factory specs with, with the equipment and the setup that I have. And uh, my only concern here, it actually drives really nice right now uh, in the 15 miles I was able to drive it since I've had it back together. Uh, so it's pretty straight. I'm just really worried about um, tire wear. So let's go ahead and open up the kit, see what's in it. Um, and then we're going to go out and we're going to align the car. Okay, so I unpackaged the two-wheel alignment system and I looked at the documentation and videos online on the manufacturer website and I went ahead and assembled each plate and we'll just start with this plate. It comes with uh, two, two slides here or uh, two, two standoffs if you will. It has a detachable um, angle finder and it also, this plate is unique because it, it has a slot that you use for the caster measurement. So this plate has the standoffs coming on top as well as off the back. The ones on the top are used to find the camber. So if you want to measure camber, first thing you would do is you would change your, uh, your angle so it, and put this flat on the ground, zero it out. And then that is your reference point. Next, you would tilt it up, and you would put the standoffs on the outermost lip of the rim, and then that would give you your cam uh, yeah your camber reading. That that way you know um, what kind of adjustment you need to do. But that's that's camber. Caster we'll get into when we go out there. Um, each plate has an offset on the back, and that's used. So if you want to measure toe. You put the handle in line with the center of the rim. You move your standoffs so that it rests against the outer lips of the rim. And you do this on both sides, and then you run the tape measure. Right, the other plate I happen to have the tape measures clipped to. You run the tape between the grooves, and then you can uh, get the difference between the front and back groove. Actually, it would be the difference between the back and the front groove. And that difference is your toe. So, very slick little system. Seems very easy to use. Of course, it's kind of kind of going to be a pain to make the changes and, and remeasure every time. But that's all part of it. Should go pretty quick, I would think. I think I could do it uh, just as fast as as a shop could. But uh, I'm excited to give it a give it a try.